Hello everybody, my name is Captain Fructose and welcome to City Skylines. Today we are going to be doing a dam breach, as you can probably tell from the title. And this is our lovely little city that we have so far that we are going to flood out. So this ought to be very entertaining. And it's taken me quite a while to actually get the city up to this point. I would like it to be bigger, but you know, I'll take what I can get. It's already taken like four hours to get it to this point almost. So we're gonna go ahead and flood it out. Ooh, and we probably better do it soon because it looks like the city is running out of water. I mean, there is a supply here, but I might be drawing more than it can make. And this is starting to fill up with sewage. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here to see a dam breach. And this is our dam holding back all of this water back in here. All of that is being held back by this one dam. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and delete the dam and watch this poor city flood. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Oh, crap. Yeah, that, that, that dam was uh, holding back a lot more water, or a lot deeper water than I initially thought when I built it. So... Yeah, this is going to be interesting, that's for sure. There comes the water out. Oh my gosh, that is a huge tidal wave. Like, could you imagine being down in town and, like, looking out your window and being like, where's the dam? Guys, the dam's gone. All I see is a freaking wall of water. Yeah, that would not be a good day. I would not, I would not be happy about that. I would be very upset. But I'd probably just go back to playing my games. Like, well, I can't get away. I'm just going to enjoy the last moments of my life. And play City Skylines or something before my ultimate demise. That was a lot of water that's stored up in there, though. Here it comes. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, there goes all the cars. Oh, man. That's a lot higher than I, initial than I thought it was going to be, actually. Here comes the first wave. Actually, it's all just one big wave at this point, pretty much. It's making its way down through our poor city here. Why are you guys happy? Why are they happy? I wouldn't be happy about this. Like, yay, my house is flooding and my car is washed away and I'm going to die. I'm so happy. What the freak? Why is there, like, happy people? I don't understand this. This is insane. Why are people happy about this? I mean, I'm enjoying it just watching it, but, I mean, it's not my house flooding. I'm just watching these guys' house flood, so, I mean, it's not that big of a deal for me, but apparently these guys are happy about it. Every few, every once in a while, there's somebody that's happy that it's flooding, I guess? I don't know. But it's not going to be stopping anytime soon. This poor city is going to be underwater very soon, like, completely underwater. It's not going to take long. There's not very many places for all this water to go. And it's making its way... Oh, dang. Wow, that's moving a lot faster than I thought it was going to. Into this part of town, which there is a little bit of a hill right here. So that might slow the water down a little bit. Guys, I hate to break it to you, but your new tower is uh, going to get flooded out. Sorry. Bad timing on your part. I would have waited to build that. Oh, look at that. It's going to come down. Here comes the water down the middle of the big street. Main street into the city. Oh, there's a lot of cars in here that are going to get washed away, too. Oh, snap. There it all goes. Actually, some of these guys up on the hill might be okay. Maybe. I don't know. The wind, These wind turbines are going to be fine, though. These are very cool wind turbines. That's a mod, by the way, in case you're wondering. These are a mod. <laughs> so, oh, jeez. Yeah, I would want to be the person that's living, like, up here. Because then it's like, oh, look, it's all flooding down there. Although, they may not be getting out of it that easily. They might be wishing they built their houses up a little bit higher here in a little bit. Because the water level is still going up. Because there's a lot of water in that place. Like, that's a lot of water in here. And it hasn't dropped all that much. Oh, man. Still working its way through the city here. Oh, there it comes up over that hill. Yeah, this hill. Yep, yeah, no. That was not quite high enough. You should have built that up here. Seems to be the only dry spot at the moment. That's where I would have built mine. Actually, I probably wouldn't have had much of a choice. I probably would have just taken whatever I could find. But, 
if I did have a choice, that's where I would have built my house. Up on that hill where it's a little bit safer, especially when you've got a dam with that much water behind it. And this is just like a whole narrow valley that's just like holding the water in. Just right here. How are these guys doing up here? Actually, they're still not doing too bad. They're still in pretty good shape there. Although with the population of the city dropping, it looks like the water supply is starting to replenish itself. Oh, they're out of power now. That's not good. That is not good. This is the only way for the water to get out is right here. So, uh, this might fill up and flood these guys out still. That is still a valid possibility. So, we'll see what ends up happening, but that is a lot of water. I'm surprised there's still this many buildings up here, actually. I mean, look at that. That's all that's left of our poor little city. Actually, it's a fairly good-sized city, to be honest. It really wasn't too tiny. There was a lot of people living here. But still, I mean, oh. Well, apparently where I wanted to build my house wasn't a good idea either, because that's underwater now. How are these guys doing? Oh, it's starting to flood up into here. These guys right up here are still all right. This house is still okay for now. <laughs> I don't know how much longer they're going to be okay for, though. That's going to be a problem. That's going to be a ma- Oh. Yeah, sorry. I don't think that's even high. Nope, that is definitely not high enough. Well, it was a nice thought, guys, but, um, yeah. It's all, it's, you're all underwater now. There's nothing else you can do. This water's getting deep fast, too. Like, your best bet would have been to be in, like, the top of one of these really tall buildings. That would have been your best bet, because everywhere else is underwater. Like, even this mound right here that these turbines were on, this hill, this slight mountain is underwater. So, the industrial area is good. Like, if you build up here, or, like, up here, you would have been all right. But, oh, and these guys were okay for a while, but not anymore. Yeah, this is my problem. Good freak. Yeah, I would have built up here. This is going to be the best place for you to build because it's still out of the water. Down here might have been okay, but I don't know how much longer it's going to be okay. Because as we've seen so far, the water level is still rising. Like, it can't get out fast enough keep up with the amount of water pouring in so the water level is just probably gonna keep rising at this point I mean look at that this is where our city was and now it's just water it's all underwater and this still hasn't even drained like the water level hasn't even dropped so basically that's all underwater and it's gonna stay that way until I put a dam back in so I'm gonna put the dam back in so let's go ahead and get that done here. We'll put it in right there. There we go. That'll block any more water from coming out of there. We have a huge demand for people wanting to move into our town, though. Oh, oh, is it stop? Why is it still going through? Oh, I'm going to turn this off. I don't want water flowing through there. Not that that'll make much of a difference, but Ooh, maybe. I don't know. I kind of want to see the carnage, though, that's left behind. Oh, gall. Yikes. That's a big buildup right there. All that water wanted to go down, but I blocked it. Okay. All right. I think it's going back. There we go. Water level's equalizing here. I mean, look at the size of this lake, guys. Like, it's huge. Enormous lake. And this is still letting water out. Stop letting the water out. Trying to dry the town out so we can see what's left. Town might actually rebuild itself once the water drains out, but we'll see. I don't think it'll even, I don't know if it'll even drain very far, though. I don't know how far this drains out, so it might drain it all out, but yeah, I don't know. It's going to take a while either way for that to finish draining out. Oh, it finally stopped. Nice. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, that's good. That's just what we wanted. So now all of this can dr start draining out, and the water level can start dropping. What? Oh, it doesn't have water. I thought I was saying it was flooded. I was like, that is not flooded. Like, those guys are, like, several hundred feet above the water level, so they should be fine. Everything else is several hundred feet 
under the water level. Well, it's taking a lot longer than I initially thought it would to drain this whole area. I've got all these pumps down here trying to drain it and all of these draining out the excess water. And I've got like three pumping truck stations. These trucks are going out like all over the place pumping out this water. And it's going to take a while for them to pump all of this water out. Like the water level has dropped a lot, but it's still taking a while. So the town is actually taking long enough that the city is actually starting to build itself back. So especially, yeah, now that I've got that back in place. But... If you guys are interested in seeing me do this again, but with a bigger city, make sure you leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And if you guys haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. And as always, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this wonderful adventure. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.